What's going on everybody? For today's keyboard lighting video, what we're gonna do is recreate a fairly popular keyboard lighting design that was originally made by Puff and Plukey 76. I believe it's number 12 on his top 15 chroma effects video. I've had several requests to recreate this design and show how it's made. The design was originally created on Razer Synapse 2 and I'm going to be recreating and show you guys how to make it on Razer Synapse 3. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys see upcoming keyboard lighting videos. All right, let's get into it. This is Diamond Thing. Okay guys, Diamond Thing. So it, what it looks like is a regular rainbow that kind of goes in towards the middle it kind of creates a diamond shape and and goes towards the center of the keyboard and then it also looks like for a longer period of time there is a white purple and yellow wave that kind of overtakes the rainbow but what we're going to work on first is the rainbow part and get that going towards the center of our keyboard to do this make sure you add a wave effect layer over here on the left and with that wave effect layer what we're going to do currently is just select all the keys on our keyboard I'm going to deselect my Razer logo for now. And we're going to click on our color drop down and click on the rainbow effect. Click out and we're going to leave everything the same except our angle. We're going to change our angle over to about 290 degrees. And we're going to use this split option right here. So now you can see we have it moving towards the center of the keyboard and it's converging in there. That looks perfect. I'm going to hit save there. And now I'm going to click off of my keyboard, deselect the keys, and I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select the lower left half of my keyboard, just like this. And while still holding control, I'm going to select the upper half of my keyboard, just like that. So you got the lower left and the upper right selected. And we're just going to change the angle of these keys to 250 degrees. This is how you get your rainbow wave going towards the center of your keyboard. Now that we've done the rainbow design, we are going to right click and duplicate that layer. In this new wave layer, we can double click on the upper left half and it will select all the keys that are similar effect. So you have the upper left and the bottom right. With these keys selected, click on your color drop down and we're going to choose this three tone option here. On the far left, we're going to have our white color, so six Fs as your hex code. In the middle, we're going to have purple. So I'm gonna use my color chart here to just find a good purple that I like. That looks good. And then on the far right, we're going to have yellow. Now I want my white to be a little bit more prominent, so I'm going to grab that and drag it out a little bit. So that looks pretty good to me. What we're also going to do with this is we're going to make our width percentage 300% and we're gonna double our speed to 30. And we're gonna add a two second pause. And then we're gonna hit save. Now copy this effect that we just made and drag it over the whole keyboard and paste it. So now you have the white, purple, and yellow effect that's going over the top of it. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our first wave, and we are going to hold control, select the bottom left half of the keys, and the top right half. And once again, we're going to make our angle 250 degrees. So now you can see, just like in the original lighting design, you have a rainbow effect that is going towards the center, and then you have a longer white, purple, and yellow effect that takes over the keyboard. Now, if you have multiple different Razer peripherals and you wanna add this lighting on your other peripherals as well, what I recommend you do is rename your first and second wave to wave one and wave two. And then I would duplicate these layers. So let's duplicate wave one, and we're going to make that wave number three. We'll duplicate wave two, and we'll rename that to wave number four. Duplicate these layers just like this, and select wave three, and we're going to copy the lower left portion of the keyboard and the upper right, and we're going to Control-C and copy that. 
And now what I would do is I would select all of your peripherals that are in the lower left hand portion of your setup and all the peripherals that are in the upper right and paste in that design into that area. Now likewise with the upper left and lower right, copy those and paste those into the upper left and lower right areas of your keyboard setup. And then with these new layers, I would delete out the effects that are on the keyboard. That way it doesn't mess up with timing issues and overlapping patterns. Do the same thing with wave four, copy the lower left and paste it into the lower left and upper right areas. Same thing, copy the upper left and paste it into the upper left and lower right areas of your setup. And don't forget to delete out your keyboard and wave four as well. So now you can see your whole entire setup is geared towards this diamond thing design. Now the last thing that we have to do for this design to finish it is add the white reactive layer. So go ahead and click on the reactive to add that layer and select all of the keys on your keyboard. And we're gonna click on this color drop down and we're gonna make it white, so six Fs as the hex code and we are going to leave the properties at medium and hit save. So now whenever I touch the keyboard, I'll have a white reactive that overrides the keyboard lights. Thank you guys so much for being here. As always, there will be a download link in the description below. Also, if you want teasers on upcoming keyboard lighting videos, make sure you go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That way you guys get a heads up on what's coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.